layers of the articular cartilage. The articular cartilage is avascular, means it does not have blood supply, it doesn't have nerves. It is a shock absorbing structure. Bone was made first, so bone contains collagen type 1, and cartilage was made after the bone, so cartilage contains collagen type 2. In this lecture, we will highlight three things. Number one, the composition of the cartilage. Number two, the layers of the cartilage. Number three, if the cartilage is injured, can it heal? We'll start with composition of the cartilage. The cartilage is made of water, collagen type 2, and proteoglycans. Water, about 74%. Collagen, about 15%. Proteoglycan, about 1% and the other material less than 1%. The cartilage need the water for lubrication and for transport of nutrients. The cartilage will need the collagen to give the cartilage the tensile strength and the stiffness. So the collagen makes a meshwork that is both flexible and tough but entraps the proteoglycans and the cartilage cells. The cartilage cells, the chondrocytes, is about 1%, and it is responsible for the synthesis, the maintenance, and the hemostasis of cartilage. SOX9 is the master switch for differentiation of cells of chondrocyte lineage. The other important structure is the proteoglycan. What is the difference between proteoglycans and glucosaminoglycans? The cartilage proteoglycans are large, long chains of negative charged molecules. The glucosaminoglycans are linear polysaccharides, such as keratin sulfate and chondroitin sulfate. So the proteoglycan is a core protein and glucosaminoglycan chains, which is chondroitin sulfate and keratin sulfate. And that is called proteoglycan monomer. Chondroitin sulfate is the most prevalent glycosaminoglycan in the cartilage proteoglycan and it becomes proteoglycan aggregate when it gets connected to the hyaluronic acid by a link protein. The cartilage proteoglycan is multiple glucosaminoglycans bound to core protein, which is bound to hyaluronic acid through a link protein. So that link protein connects the proteoglycan monomer to the hyaluronic acid backbone. The proteoglycan aggregate is a multiple proteoglycan monomer attached to the hyaluronic acid by a link protein. So the proteoglycan can be associated with up to 50% of its weight in water. So the proteoglycan swells so it is responsible for the swelling pressure of the cartilage and the collagen restrains that swelling. So the proteoglycan attracts water because of the long chains of negative charges. So that will increase the swelling and that fluid pressure provides strength in compression. The swelling pressure in the cartilage is predominantly due to the association of exchangeable water with the agrican. Agrican associate with 50 times its weight in water. The agrican aggregates on hyaluronic acid with a link protein. It has a longer core protein 
with multiple keratin sulfate and the chondroitin sulfate chains.